Yeah, I'm so, you know, back and forth about votes. I really love when someone comes in and gives me a vote, you know, when I'm there. I appreciate votes, but honestly, um, I see wonderful dimensions with 13 votes, and I do nothing with Ship Ahoy now. I mean, it's just kind of you get votes when you get up to the top. They just keep rolling in, so I don't really feel like, you know, it's that I keep earning them. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, I think with votes sometimes, like you say, there's some absolutely amazing dimensions and they're really hidden on the lists and stuff. So I'm kind of on offish about votes. But yeah, I agree with you. It's it's really nice if someone if someone does give you that plus one. This version of Ship Ahoy is actually kind of version point two or, or 2.0 rather, um, I had a ship and I built it, you know, before we had these items like the roof pieces that the, the hull is made from, and that ship took like 500 pieces just to build, you know, the ship structure. It's very impressive. Um, this Was this built for a competition? No, mm-mm. This was one of the first builds that I um, saw of yours, and I fell in love with it. The boat, the interior part of it, is absolutely stunning. Is, oh, thank you agree. so much, Crystal. Thank you. Um, you do occasionally make a few changes as well, don't you? I came in, um, I think it was around Christmas, and you'd made a little Santa Claus. <laughs> Yeah, I do, I, I, or I did do little vignettes in here every now and then for a changing season or just to do something different. And I did have um, Santa water skiing while one of his elves pulled him in the, you know, powerboat. That was great. I did. I, I enjoyed that. Thank you. The other one that I do sometimes is I... Um, I have this, I call it the Kraken, this big octopus sort of thing that I put up on deck and have, you know, certain parts of the ship kind of demolished. And um, so I have him visit sometimes. Oh, I do I do like that idea of uh, changing little things every now and again. It just like um, will surprise people who've been in before. As, you know, to see something something else added for an occasion or something. Yeah, it's fun to do those things. Although I think that a lot of times people don't go back and revisit dimensions. I have a habit of revisiting dimensions. <laughs> I like to pop in every now and again, just have another wander around. So this ship has the things that I consider typical on a ship, so like the, you know, the captain's quarters and the barracks and a um, kind of a bar eating area. There's a captain's table and, um, of course, I tried to include some things like when we go down below, I'll show you my attempt at a bilge pump. Bridget was saying the um, Santa is classic. Oh, that's nice. A lot of people did like the Santa. That was a lot of fun. So, Crystal, don't look in here too closely because you'll notice a modern range with a hood and a modern dishwasher and a modern pot filler. I love it. That oven's just amazing. Thank There's nothing you. wrong with that. I mean, you're in kind of like a wooden boat. You would want safety while cooking for your crew.
The great thing about Dimensions, though, is you can build what you want. It doesn't have to be part of the game. That's how I see it. So with the modern things and stuff like that, I've seen some really, really modern houses and um, various other things that would never be part of this game. So it's all, like I said, the beauty of Dimensions. You can pretty much build whatever you want. But I, I, I for one, that oven and that dishwasher, I really like them. Yeah, I do like the fact that anybody can build anything they want to. That's one of the fun parts to me too, Rally. All right, I like the flooring. So I'm hiding. Oh, thank you. I did some tiles, some colored tiles in there just to be kooky. You'll probably never see one of my dimensions that doesn't have some sort of really weird or really crazy part about it because I guess I'm weird and crazy. I like weird and crazy. <laughs> so this is my little bilge pump that I was talking about. And it, of course, it squirts water outside. And <laughs> If you swim down in where the water's coming in, I've hidden a little treasure chest down there. Now, how many on the stream have been in this dimension and actually gone under the water? I honestly haven't. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I put a, um, I, I tried to build some stuff on the outside of the ship too, like a rudder and stuff that probably people don't notice much. Katasia saying, we love our weird, crazy diva, and both her and Siler have. Oh, thank you so much, guys. I hope I'm not being too out of sync with the live stream. I went up on deck. There's a few second no, delay, but it shouldn't be bad. <laughs> so, of course, I had to make it so I could make people walk the plank. Go ahead, Rally. Go test it out. Here it goes. I've been naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It actually looks really great from here as well. <laughs> the sails look fantastic. Thanks. You know, for a while we didn't have those items, right? In the store, they just they added them in like two... S 2.7 or something, or 2.6. But I had gotten a bunch of those at early on in the game. Are oh, these the ones that disappeared for ages? Yes, yes. And they're the, you know, the most scalable to a large size. And so, you know, when I was building this, I, I was really, like asking people if I could, you know, buy more from them and so forth, because, they, yeah, they weren't in the store for a while. Oh, well, I'm glad they're back, because they are actually really nice, and they, they look absolutely fantastic as your sales. You've really done a great job with those. It's great. Oh, thanks. So I've got some cannons on here, some cannons on the front and some on the rear. Probably someone who's... Uh, an experienced, you know, boat person can look at this in one second and see I know nothing about boats. Why would you think that? I just, I did a little bit of research, but I'm assuming everything's all in the wrong spots for how it would be on a real ship, but 
you know, it's one of the fun things about dimensions is you don't have to build an exact replica. You can just create something with the flavor of an item and that's good enough. I think just adding that water pump itself is absolutely fantastic because you've obviously thought about that that factor that you know you are going to need something to pump out water. I think I think that detail's great. Oh, thanks. It was just one of the funny things I could add. I made the bridge kind of another funny thing. There's kind of a goofy wheel and some of the mech items. Yeah, but it works. <laughs> it has the flavor of a ship, so it works pretty well. It really does. It's fantastic. Everything, all the details, the use of space. And I think if you would have tried putting the cannons down below instead of on top of the ship, it would have just thrown everything off. Oh, well, thanks, Crystal. So I just want to show you guys one feature that everybody misses about this dimension, and it's my deep sea divers. They're over on the dock. There's kind of what looks like parts of their equipment up on the dock, and then down below you see one of my diving treasure hunters. I haven't seen him before. I must be terrible at touring. Yeah, me too. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. He's even got his little uh, air breathing uh, hat on. <laughs> yeah, I like those old timey diving helmets, so I tried to make something like that. Kind of fits though, because those and type more of treasure. those type of suits are bulky and big, anyways, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, it'd be hard to make a very good looking um, diver in this these silly statues. Would you like to go on to another one?